What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Kalik, the free to play unit that we have got from the Grand Hero Battle and I'm going to be giving you guys my review, analysis, builds and also if you should invest into him with your hero grails or not. So with that said, I hope you guys do enjoy and let us begin. Don't take it personally. Kalik is a 176 BST Axe Infantry unit and he has got some really high attack stat at base 40. He also has an attack super boon which allows him to reach 180 BST which is really good for arena scoring. He also has pretty high HP with a pretty nice balanced bulk. His speed is really awkward where it's not really too low and it's not really too high to make a lot of use out of it. And he comes with Reprisal Axe as his weapon. So this is basically the Reprisal Lance variant. It just has Fierce Stance built into it. And this kind of weapon isn't really all that impressive when we have got options like Dex Swabber and Huge Fan Plus in last few months. So those weapons are just better as an air double axis and Reprisal Axe really doesn't stand out. Like Huge Fan gives you special acceleration and extra attack and defense. And Dex Swabber has got lull attack defense with solo condition built into it. So this weapon isn't really all that impressive but I guess it's nice to have. We recently got Ninja Hana as well who can reach 180 BST for arena scoring. So comparing these two, Hana is just much more unique. We don't really have a lot of free to play axe infantries who are as fast as Hana. And uh, Kalik can definitely hit pretty hard. He has got better mixed bulk. But keep in mind at max investment, Hana can easily use damage reduction skills and be really bulky herself. Hana can function in both phases because of this high speed. But Kalik is basically stuck in the enemy phase being a tank. And overall she's just a more unique unit with her stat spread and is a bit more versatile. But if you had to consider the Grail cost then of course Kalik is going to be cheaper to build because he's a Grand Hero Battle unit and he's going to be getting the reruns. So both of these are actually pretty amazing 180 BST Axe Infantry units for arena usage. If you don't really care about arena then there are even more comparisons we can draw. So Ross and Mustafa are pretty much the comparisons and uh, these units do have pretty high attack stat. Ross has got 9 less resistance at the cost of having a bit more speed whereas Mustafa has got more defense um, at the cost of not having that much resistance. But at max investment all three of these will hit equally hard. It just depends on which uh, characteristic you're looking for in an Axe Infantry. Like Ross is going to be faster so he could work with speedy builds a bit better. Kalik is going to be having better mixed bulk overall and having the highest resistance out of these three. And Mustafa just has higher defense. His passive skills are really disappointing. Two years ago, we got literally the same skills on Hara as well. Guard and a defense wave skill. So if that doesn't speak to you volumes about how IS has been badly dealing with the skill demotions, then I don't know what will. Because honestly, Guard could have been a 4-star skill. Do we really need another wave skill at 4-star? These are really outdated skills, honestly. And they're not even consistent. Rouse and Oath skills are much more consistent when it comes to self-buffing. So I wish Guard was a 4-star uh, available skill, but it's 5-star lock, so you gotta spend 20,000 feathers if you want to get that. So as for Frauder, you know, Kalik doesn't really have too much to offer. Reprisal Axe is outclassed by other better inheritable options, and passives are just you know, the same, which we got like 2 years ago. Now let's take a look at some of the reasons why you may or may not want to invest into Kalik. So, he has got absolutely fantastic attack stat that allows you to get some easy one shots with proper investment and you'll see more of that later on. And he can score 180 BST with his attack super boon which is really really nice for arena scoring. He's really good in water season because he has got good matchups against legendary Krom and legendary Dimitri when they are at plus 10 merge. So you can easily deal with those legendary units and if you're having trouble with them and you want to build up another arena core unit then Kalik can be a pretty nice option honestly. However the only thing which could be problematic in the water season is that his resistance at max investment is really high so it could be hard to bait out Azura and baiting out Azura against those teams is usually the easier option because if she does 5 or more damage she will attack you and then you can just take her out and you don't really have to care about the dance shenanigans but because Kalex resistance is so high that could be a problem but other than that he can be a pretty good unit in the water season. He also has really good mixed bulk so he can make for a very solid enemy face tank who has got high attack. There are many reasons why you may not want to invest into him. As I said Ninja Hana that we recently got is a very strong free to play option for arena scoring and she's also really versatile and can work in both phases. 
And as I showed you before, Mustafa and Ross from the normal pool require no grails and no trade fruits and can perform pretty similarly to Kalik. And lack of preferred weapon means that in future he's more prone to getting power crept because if you just get a shiny new free to play axe infantry who's more min maxed than Kalik, then they are gonna be better. And if they have a preferred weapon, then it's gonna be really hard for Kalik. So overall, in my opinion, Kalik is a pretty decent free to play axe infantry unit that we've got. With his high attack stat and good mix bulk, he can definitely be a pretty solid unit. But he's not really very unique because he doesn't have a preferred weapon. And he doesn't really have a very unique stat line when compared to someone like Ninja Hana. But because he can score 180 BST in Arena and can deal with some meta threats, he can definitely be a pretty nice merch project for many people. And in general, he can be a nice balanced tank. <laughs> I'm moving up. For budget build, Kalik can definitely be used in Arena Assault. If you just 5 star him, then his attack stat is really really good with Reprisal Axe. So you could stack it up with Fierce Stance and Attack Defense Solo. And Lance Breaker can just allow you to deal with those plus 10 merge Lance units which you might face in Arena. So he could definitely help you a lot there. And using Guard, you could just run Quick Repose as a Sacred Seal. And have something like Sturdy Stance or Steady Stance with Bonfire. And of course, Attack Defense Bond is also an option. And you could also run Heavy Blade because of his high attack stat. So that could work out so that you could trigger Ignis in a single round of combat. If you want to invest heavily into him, then he works best with this encounter. He has got pretty fantastic mixed bulk, so there's no reason not to give him this encounter at high investment. And Dex Whopper is a really good weapon because it has got solo lull attack defense built into it, which can definitely be really helpful in increasing his bulk and also increasing his already high damage output. He could also run huge fan with Aether, so the special acceleration will be really nice with this encounter. And a lull skill can also be used in slot B, if you're not running Dex Swabber. If you want to use Reprisal Axe, which he comes with, then you could definitely stack a lot of attack uh, with this kind of build to make him very very strong in the enemy phase with 91 attack. Not the most optimal build, but still, if you want to increase his attack, then this is the build to go for. He could also be used with Huge Fan and Special Spiral so that he could retaliate back with Ignis. So the special acceleration of Huge Fan can be definitely really helpful in that. And he can fire off some devastating specials. Now let's go over what he could run in Arena. Because he can reach 180 BST and that is going to be a point of interest for many people. In my opinion, the Arena Water King build is the most optimal build you could run on Kalik because Huge Fan with the Attack Refine and Ruptured Sky along with Lull Attack Defense and Joint Drive Attack give him such good one-shot potential against these like plus 10 units that you're going to be facing in Arena and I've calc he can definitely destroy Legendary Krom pretty easily with this build and he can also take care of Legendary Dimitri as long as the Legendary Dimitri does not have Ruptured Sky because if he does have that and he's like max investment then Kalik is going to be having some trouble but other than that you can definitely deal with the water legendaries pretty well so he could be part of your water core or just help you in the water season facing those annoying units. You could also run Dex Swabber because it's a good weapon in Arena as everyone and their mom has got rally skills. So ignoring their buffs to attack and defense is really good. The solo condition could be annoying at times in Arena but you could manage it and he can still be a pretty strong enemy face tank. But I'm more of a fan of the huge fan build uh, because of its crazy one shot potential and how strong he hits. You could also use him in Aetherite's offense as a tank with a build like this with Dex Swabber. Um, but he's going to be having trouble in many matchups like against Lysithias, Blazing Durandal, Ellie Woods. So all of those units are going to be pretty annoying. He could get fast enough to avoid doubles from many units. And it's really good that he can have high HP so he can avoid the max level panic manners. Personally, I don't really prefer like green tanks in Aetherite's offense with how uh, the game is right now. But if you want to use him like that, then that's definitely an option. You could also build him up as a cav line check because you could run him with Polax and Null Counter Disrupt. And because of his high attack stat, he can definitely hit really hard against those cavalry units who might have the ARD skills and who might be supported by Ward Cavalry and stuff like that. And he can have a pretty nice matchup against those plus 10 Reinhardts and Ursulas. And last but not least, we do have a speed meme build because he has a super boon and speed as well. If you do want to run a speedy build, then you could run it with Ninja Massacre and basically have him quad attack. Of course, this is not the optimal build, but it's just a fun build if you want to explore around the speed meme uh, with that speed super boon. And now time for the bonus segment. What if Kalik was improved and he came with a preferred weapon and better skills? So if I had to make Kalik better, I would min-max his uh, stats a bit more, like reduce his speed and give that 
somewhere else. And I would also make him have a preferred weapon. He does have Hoplin Guard and Sacred Stones when you face him, which does negate all of the critical hits. So inspired by that, he could have a preferred weapon called Hoplin Axe, which gives him minus one special cooldown. It also has permanent guard built into it, so that can be a really big boon for a tank like him. And he also has special acceleration. So at the start of combat, if he has more than 70 HP, then he gets special cooldown charge plus one. And I would make him have quick repost at four star and defense rest solo at five star. It has been two years since we got solo skills and they still haven't demoted a single unit who has got a solo skill. Defense Rest Solo isn't even that good and they still haven't demoted it so I would have liked something like this. Let me know in the comments what you think about my theorycraft with this uh, Kalik. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please be sure to share this video with your friends who are thinking of building up Kalik. And I want to thank all of my YouTube members for their constant support. And if you enjoyed, then please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Helps me tremendously. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Because YouTube sub boxes are about as disappointing as the fodder which Kalik has got. So that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.